What's going on my people, it's your boy Mr. Little back with another video and today I'm going to show you how your jeans should be fitting. Stay tuned. Tell the fly to a nanny with me, take a ride, come and vibe on the water and see, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to go pick up my stuff from the tailor. It's been there for about a week and a half, so it better fit good because I've been waiting long enough to wear my jeans. I think I dropped off like three pairs of jeans and a couple coats as well. So stay tuned and bring it back, try it on, let you guys see how it fits compared to some that didn't go to the tailor. And yeah, stay tuned. Oh, the other pants, I know, okay. Yeah, I don't know what day. Okay, back in the back cave. These are the trousers I picked up and not the jeans, because apparently my jeans weren't ready. She told me Wednesday, I pulled up on Monday. So the jeans aren't ready? It's Wednesday. Okay. No, today Monday. But not to worry, because I have some jeans that I already got tailored, so I'll show you guys those. Now, before I show you guys how they actually should fit, let's go over some ground rules for jeans, okay? Some general rules that you should follow when buying your jeans and when wearing your jeans, okay? First thing, guys, the fit of your jeans. Make sure you get your waist measured so you know what the waist should be on your jeans. Myself, I'm a 31, and make sure your inseam is correct, okay? I'm a 34. If you don't do this, what's gonna happen is when you put a belt on, let's say I get a pair of jeans that's a 33, when I put a belt on, it's gonna be a lot of bunching in the waist area. Right around this area here, there's gonna be a ton of bunching. Okay, see how clean that is going all the way around? If I get a 33, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look super, super bad. You don't want that. So wear your correct waist size. And then for the length, unless you're purposely buying crop jeans or crop pants, whatever they may be, then they should stop at a certain point on your shoes or your boots. And I'll show you guys that in just a moment. Now, I like my jeans to fit a little bit more fitted. Okay, not tight, but fitted. Meaning I can still grab them around the thigh area. I have room to move uh, freely. Uh, they're not tight but they're not loose, okay, they're fitted. I like to wear mine just a little bit more fitted because the way my physique is. I'm slim, but I do have a, a little bit of muscle, so I like to accentuate the areas on my body that have a little bit more muscle. And believe it or not, guys, women like guys with nice butts. So if you have a nice butt, pause. Do not be afraid to show it off because women actually do like that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how your jeans should be tapered at the bottom, how they should be fitting all the way down the kind of streamlined look. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks, so here we go. All right guys, first pair of jeans. These are my black jeans from Uniqlo. And these actually aren't altered at all. These are right off the rack and they just fit perfect. These are the ultra stretch skinny jeans. As you can see, the opening down here, in my opinion, is almost perfect. It's almost perfect, but I haven't gotten them altered because it's barely noticeable that they're not perfect. There's a little bit extra room in here. So uh, if you tighten this up a little bit, that would probably be a perfect fit. But these Oral Los Angeles boots has a taller shaft. So I actually like that there's a little bit more room because this piece back here doesn't stick out. So I actually like that it's a little bit extra room. This is about a six inch opening. When you take your jeans to the tailor, the measurements to get that skinny fit around the, the bottom of your pants or the bottom of your jeans, the, the measurements you wanna tell them is 5.75, a, a 5.75 inch opening to about a 6.25 6 inch. This is about a six inch opening. Um, if you want them to fit a little bit more snugger than this, you'll go 5.75. Uh, or 5.8 or 5.85, whatever it may be. Um, and then once you get that pair of jeans that fits perfectly, you just take that same pair of jeans to the tailor and 
they'll just mirror all your jeans after that. But this is how your jeans should fit. You know, roomy through here, but not too much room. That's how they should look. Boom. Boom. That is how your jeans should fit with your Chelsea boots. And as you can see, they're skinny fit, but I still got some room to pull on them. They have the ultra stretch material. I absolutely love this pair of jeans, but it's a nice streamlined look, okay? There's no excess baggage anywhere or anything. It's just a nice, clean silhouette of a jean, and that's how you want your jeans to look. I'll show you guys two more pairs. All right, so here is a pair of distressed jeans from The Gap. Much more roomy. Now, I left these like this for a reason, because I wear these with a particular pair of boots, and I just like to roll them up and kind of give them, you know, that nice, give them that nice road roomy kind of look. But with Chelsea boots or even with sneakers, I probably wouldn't wear these with because see that opening? That's just, that's just way too much room. Way too much room. Um, I'm not rocking like that. Mm -mm. My mine's is gonna be much more fitted than that. These jeans you would not wear with Chelsea boots. And I actually show you guys how they look with shoes too, to show you why I wouldn't wear these with shoes either. All right, y'all, got the sneakers on. These are the reeds from Beckett Seminan. But for me, that's just too much room. I don't look cool enough. That's not cool enough for me. I don't like that. No, no, no. Too roomy, even if you roll them up. I still don't like that look, but I'm gonna show you guys a look that I do like with sneakers. All right, these are a pair of my Riley Cut 7 for All Mankind jeans uh, that I have gotten altered. I believe this is a six point, this is a six inch opening too. It's a six inch opening too. I'm like fairly certain, but that is how I like them to fit on my shoes. Much less of an opening and they stop right at the bottom. I still got a little bit of room if I want to give them a cuff. Cuff this one. Just look at that, you know? Much more sleeker, nicer. Just a nice streamlined look. I like streamlined, I like neat. I don't like it to be flared out at the bottom, but that is how I would like my jeans to fit with my sneakers. I'll show you guys one more pair of boots with these jeans and how they would fit. And then uh, that'll be it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all my Sutro footwear boots with my Seven for All Mankind jeans that I just had on. But I got them rolled up now. You see how they stop just at the top of the boot. And they're not too big. They're not too small. Boom. That's how I like it. That is how your jeans should fit with your boots. If you're going for that streamlined, slim, you know, skinny kind of look, this is how they should look. And uh, if you want to roll it down one, you can. See, these jeans have some stretch to it, so they can, you know, they have some elasticity in there. But you can roll them down one and wear them like that. There you go. And that is all I have for you all today. I appreciate you all tuning in. You know what? One thing I did forget to mention is that when you take your jeans to the tailor, make sure that you tell them to taper your jeans below the knee. Okay, if you don't tell them that, then what's gonna happen is, say you get a pair of uh, straight cut jeans, which you shouldn't do. You should buy slim, slim straight, skinny or super skinny just depending on just depending on like your leg size and you know the size of your hips and everything if you do have to buy straight fit jeans then they still should have some type of streamlined so they shouldn't be like all baggy through the thighs or baggy through the calves but if they are and you're trying to take them and get them tapered uh what's going to happen is you're going to have a flare out below the knee where your calves are and it's going to be really tight at the bottom and it's going to look like bell bottom and then scrunched up and it's not gonna look good trust me even if you pin roll you guys know what the pin roll technique is if you pin roll a pair of straight fit jeans 
or a pair of jeans that are just has a wider opening as they go down your leg like through the calf area and you pin roll them you'll see that it's like a it's like a big a poof it's a poof above where your jeans are and you don't want that so taper them below the knee all the way down to the opening of your jeans that way you have a streamlined look going all the way down and that's also why you buy the four cuts of jeans that I just mentioned because you want that streamline to go all the way down your legs okay from thigh region all the way down to your ankles you want it to be streamlined it doesn't have to be tight it just needs to be fitted and it needs to all look uniform but now that's all I have for you guys today I appreciate you tuning in please don't forget to check out my Instagram I just hit the 10k mark and on here on YouTube I just hit the 500 subscriber mark so thank you all to all my new subscribers my people really appreciate you guys supporting me this is such a fun journey and i'm so happy to be able to share it with all of you i hope this video helped you if it did drop a like down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and until next time peace